Hi, and welcome to Facts About Cats. In this video, I'll discuss the most popular beliefs regarding ragdoll cats. We'll see which ones are true and which ones are nothing more than a myth. Before we start, I just want to let you know that there's lots of cool stuff for your cat in the description. Make sure to check it out. Let's begin. Ragdolls are lap cats. This one is somewhat true. There are ragdolls out there that love laps, but there are also ragdolls that don't. I would say there are 50% chances your ragdoll will be a lap cat, which is understandable as each cat is unique. Besides, ragdolls have quite the coats. It's no wonder not all of them want to sit on a warm lap. Ragdolls go limp in your arms, the most famous rumor in my opinion. It's a trait that's highly attributed to ragdolls, and it's how these cats got their name. But is it actually true? Ragdolls are usually laid-back cats. They will tolerate being held while also maintaining their relaxed way of being. Some like it, but there are also the ones who hate being in someone's arms. Overall, I would say this one is mostly true. Ragdolls love food. Absolutely true! Love is actually an understatement here. Ragdolls would do anything for food, from jumping on furniture to opening drawers. They're also prone to getting chubby. But really, can you blame them? Food is one of the best things in life. Ragdolls are hypoallergenic. Ragdolls are a low allergenic breed, but they still produce allergens. As such, they're not entirely hypoallergenic. However, mildly allergic people might tolerate living with a ragdoll. It's no guarantee, though, so this one is somewhat false. Ragdolls love cuddles. Ragdolls aren't just fluff balls, they're also cuddle bugs. Most ragdolls are affectionate, either by forcing you to pet them or by following you everywhere. They also enjoy a well-placed scratching session, so this is definitely true. Make sure to fulfill this need to have a happy ragdoll. Ragdolls are floppy cats. This couldn't be more real. Ragdolls are famous for living la pura vida. They love staying in the most adorable positions, often laying on their back. When they really want attention, they'll sit on their backs and flop around. It's impossible to resist them, and they quickly learn this. This charming trait is my favorite thing about them. Ragdolls are smart. This one is definitely true. Ragdolls are pretty clever. They can be taught tricks, learn to open doors and drawers, and tell how you feel. Ragdolls quickly remember where you keep their food, so there's no hiding it away from them. Additionally, they're not ashamed to beg for food, since they immediately learn it works. Ragdolls are low maintenance. Let's face it, ragdolls are more fur than cats. Even if some do fine with just a regular brushing session a week, most will need more frequent sessions. They can also get fur mats, which are not only painful for the cat, but painfully hard to get rid of. So this is mostly false. Ragdolls are lazy. In this case, pictures are more meaningful than words. But yes, ragdolls love to relax. By the way, can we get a like for these fluffy fellows? They occasionally have bursts of energy, but these are usually short-lived. For example, when playing with a feathered teaser, they prefer to lay on the ground and wait for the toy to get to them. It's an adorable trait indeed, but one that could make them a bit rounder than the norm. Ragdolls are a high-tech experiment. If you're not familiar with this breed's history, you're probably shocked to hear this one. However, the breed's creator really believed this and continuously spread the rumor. I can assure you that ragdolls, out of all the breeds I read about, have the most incredible history. Needless to say, there isn't any proof to fuel this belief, so this one is a myth. Ragdolls have blue eyes. I read some comments saying that ragdolls can also have yellow eyes, and I want to shed some light on this topic. And here's the truth. Purebred ragdolls have blue eyes. This is the only color allowed. If your cat resembles a ragdoll but has amber eyes, it's either a mix or just a regular cat. Even if rare, this exquisite pattern can randomly occur in nature. So this one is definitely true, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if your cat is a specific breed or not. Next one, ragdolls are dog-like. If by dog-like you mean a cat constantly following its owners around, affectionate, intelligent, with love for the outdoors, then the answer is a big yes. Ragdolls are renowned for being dog-like, but don't expect a cat to act precisely like a dog. That being said, they're indeed perfect for people looking for an affectionate companion. But there are more things to consider when choosing this breed. I'll make a video on this subject, but in the meanwhile, you can watch my 101 video about them. You'll find everything you need to know about ragdoll cats there. Give this video a like to show your appreciation, and see you in my next video!